Hello and welcome to Plagia's Guide to Making a Project M 3.6 ISO. You're going to need the following. A bunch of downloaded files, basically all these zips. A, a Wii or Wii U that is being soft modded already. Um, a clean and valid rip of your Brawl disk. Um, I will explain how to do this with clean rip in a later video. And an SD card, 8 gigabytes or bigger, or USB drive that works on the Wii. Not all USB drives will work. Not all SD cards will work. Alright, what you're going to need to do firstly is to determine if your ISO is correct. Alright, so here I have all the MD5 hashes uh, for your Brawl ISO. It needs to be one of those. So what we're going to do is going to extract WinMD5 and uh, this is a bit awkward here we go I did not need to do it, that was a very roundabout way to do it but we're getting there alright so you place that in there this is your ISO that you have ripped from your your original disk okay okay now that WinMD5 is completed you want to check that the M MD5 of your ISO matches one of the ones that I showed before and as we can see this one does so we're all clear we've got the the good clean ISO that's going to work next we're going to use something called Brawl Builder so what we're going to do is extract that to its own folder and we're going to run that now you get this screen here Brawl ISO we're going to select the ISO um, that we know is working well, is it all legit that you have ripped yourself. Next, the mod folder. This is going to be your PF folder in your mod uh, that you want to build. So we want to build Project M. So what we're going to do is we're going to unzip Project M. Now that Project M has been unzipped, we're going to go back to our Brawl Builder, so Mod Folder, Project M, PF is what we want to select there. GCT file is your cheat file, it will be under Codes, it will be RSBE01.GCT. Alright, next thing you want to do is you probably want to remove Subspace Emissary and that makes the ISO a lot smaller. Change the game ID. ID in the case of Project M 3.6, we go RSBEPM. That's what you want. Change the game title, Project M 3.6. And completely optional is to get a banner. I found this banner somewhere. It's completely optional, it doesn't matter. Alright, check that all these things are correct, and then off you go. Ah, almost off you go. Select where you want to output the new ISO. And then it will do its thing and we'll be back when it's done. Now that that process is complete, we'll see that we have our Project M 3.6 ISO. Next step is to format our SD card. Our SD card is called WPM 36 lol here. So what you want to do is you want to format it. It's our H drive here. You want it FAT32, even if it wants to be EX FAT, you want it to be FAT32, 64 kilobytes, and you want to call it something. It doesn't really matter as long as you don't call it Project M, I think. Don't call it Project M. Call it WPM 36 lol because that's going to work. Alright. Next thing you want to do, we want to run We Backup Manager. So we're just going to extract that to its own folder. You probably have the 64 bit version of Windows. Okay, we're going to files, we're going to add our Project M ISO. Drive on, we're going to select as Drive H, which is our SD card. And yes, we want to create the WBFS folder. Then you tick 
what we want to um, transfer transfer to drive one now once you've done this do not touch anything it can be a bit finicky it does work but just don't be tempted just leave it alone okay it's finally finished transferring and you can see if we go to drive H we have a project M 3.6 on there now the final thing we need to do is we need to place our um, configurable USB loader onto our SD card you can use something else if you like if you use USB if you use um, if you use SD cards like this you need to use configurable USB loader okay so what we need to do here is have a look see while well, we just have that in there we're going to extract to a folder like that and then rename it to CFG USB loader alright now that we've prepared our SD card we want to eject it and boot up your Wii and I'll switch to my Wii okay I've now switched to my Wii U in Wii mode I'm going to go to my homebrew channel here I plugged in the SD card obviously ok we're going to run configurable USB loader alright now with this version it's not going to work um, straight away so what you want to do is press 1 to skip WEFS mounting there we go now I've pressed right there to select the SD card you won't have this problem obviously if you use a USB alright now here we have our Project M 3.6 um, ISO and we're just going to start that up and there we go we're booted into Project M 3.6 entirely off the SD card um, that is how you make an ISO of course it will work in Dolphin and on a normal Wii and so on um, if you have anything else you would like me to do a tutorial for then please comment below um, also please comment rate highly with a thumbs up um, subscribe share it with your friends if it helped um, thank you for watching as you can see it's definitely definitely project M thanks for watching